Thank you for watching x -Byte On Demand. My name is Corey Fonner, and today we're going to be talking about Dell's PowerEdge T620. Uh, the T620 is a feature-rich two-socket tower. Um, it also comes in a rack mount chassis. If you really, uh, if you need to maximize your storage capacity, uh, the rack mount in the T620 even has more storage capacity than the Dell PowerEdge R920. Uh, this server really shines at handling, handling demanding virtualization in virtual environments. Uh, it's great at key applications such as database, uh, databases, web serving, CRM, and even medical imaging. Um, the heart of the system, the CPUs, the T620 uses Intel Xeon E5 2600 series CPUs. This will give you up to 24 physical cores at 2.7 gigahertz. Uh, as far as the memory, it uses the latest DDR3 memory up to 1866 megahertz, uh, 768 gigabytes of total RAM capacity, and amazingly that is four times the amount of memory in, uh, in this server's predecessor. With your backplane options up front, uh, there's a, a plethora of different options you can go with. You can do 12 3.5 inch drives, or you can do up to 32 2.5 inch drives, and that'll give you 48 terabytes of total storage. To control all those drives, the T620 uses Dell's PERC controllers. You can use the H8310 all the way up to the H710P, which will give you the one gigabyte of NV cache, uh, six gigabit throughput so that your IOPS are, are, are really speedy. Um, and the great thing about the NV cache is that in the event of a power cycle, the data that is in the cache is written to flash memory where it's stored for up to 10 years. Uh, with the I.O. tech on the T620, you com it comes with onboard dual port gigabit ethernet, up to seven full height PCIe slots, also comes with a dual SD card reader for all your hypervisor needs, um, and that is also an upgrade from its predecessor single SD card. Uh, with the power supplies, it uses Dell's latest uh, 12th gen PSUs that can uh, come in either 495 watt, 750 watt, or 1100 watt so that you can tailor it to exactly how much your system needs. Uh, we like to tell our customers a good rule of thumb is if you're going to be upgrading or maximizing any of the three main components such as CPU, hard drives, or RAM, you probably want to go ahead and upgrade your power supplies at that time too. There's nothing like getting new toys and not being able to use them because you don't have the power. With this server, uh, Dell's T620, it comes base with the iDRAC 7 Express for its management. Any of the 600 series and ab above servers comes with the Express as standard. That's going to give you web-based GUI, IPMI 2.0, uh, SNMP, uh, also remote firmware upgrades. Uh, if you need more management capabilities, you can upgrade to the iDRAC 7 Enterprise to add uh, features like virtual console, virtual media, rack admin, diags, and a dedicated NIC. So as you can see, this, this is a, a, a pretty dense box that you can either have uh, in a tower format for small, medium, maybe medium businesses, maybe you don't have a rack, or you can even throw uh, the rack version of the chassis into a rack and just have a really hyper dense system. Uh, thank you for watching x -Byte On Demand. Uh, please visit our website at www.xbyte.com or call one of our reps and have them design a custom solution for you. Thank you.